A new warning from the FBI about an online crime targeting teenage boys. It's called sextortion, and it's on the rise in the Philadelphia area. Investigative reporter Liz Crawford first told us about it last year, and according to our local FBI office, the threat is only getting worse. Liz, of course, joins us with an update. Well, first of all, what is it, right? That's what a lot of people are thinking. So sextortion is when someone online poses as a young person, convinces a real teenager to send them explicit photos, and then once they have the photos, they blackmail the young person for money. The threats become so intense, the FBI says sextortion has led to at least 20 suicides nationwide. Sextortion can start anywhere young people communicate online. FBI agents say that can be a messaging platform, app, or video game. Step one for the scammer is getting a sexually explicit picture from a teenager. I'll show you if you show me. So sometimes they have photos from other victims that they're going to use to entice that child then to send. Almost a catfishing kind of scam. I talked with two FBI agents last June about the growing threat. Since then, the crime has become more common. Once the scammer has a picture, they flip the switch on the young person, demanding money or gift cards in exchange for not sending it to people on their contact list, their classmates, or parents. Are they actually getting money from a 15 year old? They absolutely are because the 15 year old feels threatened. And this happens very quickly in the current scheme. We're talking within a day. FBI agents say the more money they get, the more intense the threats become. And they've connected 20 suicides to sextortion scams nationwide. It's not just a single actor. You're looking at organizations. You're looking at people that this is their sole source of income. According to FBI statistics, here in the Philadelphia area, there were 14 reports of sextortion in 2021, 110 reports in 2022, and 130 last year. Victims are typically teenage boys. There are informational videos about sextortion and resources for kids and their parents on the FBI website. Now, agents in Philadelphia have found in many cases kids and parents didn't even know this kind of scam existed. So they want to get the word out and remind people there is help available for families. We have links to all of this on CBSPhiladelphia.com.